Oh, Slanch, how you do, Buckaroos? It rained a little earlier, so I thought maybe I'd get out here before the bugs got out. And thought I did until just just before I pressed the, pressed the play button. The damn flies. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Anyways, how the heck are you? I am trying to be a whisperer. I've got a beer. Uh, it was given to me by a friend. Hey, thanks, Levi and Ann. I appreciate you guys. Alpha Hive from Coop Ale Works out of Oklahoma City. This is a beast, man. Uh, 8.9%, 100 plus IBUs that uses orange blossom or Northern California orange blossom honey. And I haven't had this before. I haven't even checked the nose on it. I poured some to take a picture, so here's the first look. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's gorgeous, man. Oh. They don't say what hops are used here, but damn, that is gorgeous. A lot of big hops on the nose. There's a lot going on. I'm going to decipher it later as it warms up a little bit. I'm going to tell you, you feel a little bit of that honey on the nose as well. Oh, fuck up. Excuse me. <laughs> Fired me, man. Wow. Wow, that's beautiful. That's just beautiful, man. I don't care who you are. That's gorgeous. No, this is really good, man. Thank you again, Levi. This is delicious. Oh, my God. That's gorgeous, man. I'm trying to decipher, so I'm not getting those huge, you know, uh, tropical fruit notes or even big citrus notes that are typical of today's IPAs. It's coming at me just a little bit different. And that honey in there, wow, man, you get a little bit of sweetness from that honey, which makes it appear maltier than it really is. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. I feel like I'm picking up some orange zest in there, uh, but I also feel like I'm picking up some some botanical or, or, or pine-like notes, if you will. Oh, fuck, that's gorgeous, man. Thanks again, Levi. That's beautiful, babe. Don't ever change. Yeah, that's delicious, man. Uh, I didn't realize at the time, uh, it, this is an Imperial Pike can, man. One pint. Well, not quite, I guess. Uh, feels like an Imperial Pint, but not quite. Uh, one pint, 3.2 ounces. Okay. So I believe an Imperial Pint is, what, 19 ounces? Either way, <laughs> golly, golly, man, that's delicious. I probably have it a little colder than it needs to be, I'll be honest with you. My beer fridge gets things a little bit colder, so I typically leave it out for a little bit. I didn't leave this out, when, leave this out for enough time. That finish is gorgeous, so you feel a little bit of that, that, that lingering honey sweetness right at the end, right? Definitely feel that orange blossom honey in there. Oh, man. It does feel maltier, though, than most of today's double IPAs, because I'm, I'm kind of getting this flashback. I, I've, I haven't had this one before, but I've had several of, of, of beers from Coop L Works before. Uh, I've had the F5 before, but, it's, uh, but I haven't had it since 2018. So it is kind of bringing back those memories. 
because I worked in, uh, well, I worked for a brewery out of Springdale from 2016 to 2018, but my actual territory was uh, uh, Bentonville, Rogers, and Eureka Springs. That's where I spent most of my time. But these beers were plentiful out there, and I used to buy them every chance I got. But they're not here in Missouri where I am. So I've had the F5, but I've never had this one. And I got to tell you, this is gorgeous. Uh, but but by by you know youngster standards, it might feel maltier than some these days, which I like. Uh, my issue with a lot of a lot of today's IPAs is there's not enough malt to hang on to those hops. So you just get this great big malt or hop water kind of thing going on. And this one with the addition of that honey is just beyond gorgeous. Wow. Day off drinking. Day off day drinking. <laughs> day off day drinking. Oh man, that is beautiful though. I think I just get a hint of something there right at the end there. Almost like the slightest touch of lemon at the end. Oh, that's interesting. Anyways, 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 I digress. Wow, that is beautiful. That beer is just gorgeous. Anyway, I am Tom the Beer Whisperer, Beer Evangelist. Man. I feel like the more I let this warm, the, the more the, the aromatics really come out. Because I know I had it a little colder than it needs to be. Man, that's absolutely beautiful. I do like honey when it's used right, right? You got to use just the right amount in the right way to add just a little something. But this one is done impeccably well, so there you go. Anyways, one more time with feeling I am Tom the Beer Whisper, Beer Evangelist, Prolific Beer Drink, a Purveyor of Wisdom Ale. Ah, cheese biscuits and gravy. All right, good guys. Why don't you excuse me?